In a small village nestled amidst lush green mountains, there lived a young man named Hiro. Hiro was a kind-hearted soul, always willing to lend a helping hand to anyone in need. Despite his good intentions, he yearned for the respect and admiration of his fellow villagers. One day, Hiro heard rumors of a wise old monk who resided on top of the highest peak in the mountains. This monk was said to possess extraordinary knowledge and wisdom, capable of guiding lost souls towards enlightenment. Filled with hope, Hiro embarked on a treacherous journey to seek the counsel of the revered monk. After days of climbing steep slopes and navigating treacherous paths, Hiro finally reached the mountaintop, where he found the humble dwelling of the monk. The old monk greeted Hiro with a warm smile, instantly putting him at ease. Sensing Hiro's desire for respect, the monk decided to teach him a valuable lesson. Dear Hiro, the monk began, if you wish to gain the respect of others, you must first rid yourself of certain habits that hinder your growth. Hiro eagerly nodded, ready to absorb the monk's wisdom. The monk continued, there are five habits you must abandon, anger, envy, judgment, attachment, and ego. These habits prevent you from truly connecting with others and experiencing life to its fullest. With these words, Hiro's heart sank. He realized that these habits were deeply ingrained within him, and letting go of them would not be an easy task. Nevertheless, he was determined to learn and grow. The monk began teaching Hiro how to control his anger. He explained that anger only breeds more anger, leading to destructive actions and strained relationships. Instead, the monk encouraged Hiro to cultivate patience, empathy, and forgiveness. By embracing these virtues, Hiro could create harmony within himself and with those around him. Next, the monk guided Hiro to overcome envy. He emphasized the importance of appreciating one's own blessings and celebrating the successes of others. By replacing envy with gratitude and contentment, Hiro would not only find peace within himself, but also inspire others to do the same. Moving on to judgment, the monk taught Hiro the art of non-judgmental awareness. He explained that everyone has their own unique journey and experiences that shape them. By releasing the tendency to judge, Hiro could cultivate empathy and understanding, fostering deeper connections and nurturing a more inclusive community. As they delved into the fourth habit, attachment, the monk enlightened Hiro about the impermanence of life. He encouraged Hiro to let go of attachments to material possessions and fleeting desires. By practicing detachment, Hiro would free himself from suffering and open his heart to the abundance of experiences life had to offer. Finally, the monk addressed the ego, the most challenging habit to conquer. He explained that ego creates a false sense of superiority, leading to arrogance and disconnection from others. By transcending the ego, Hiro would embrace humility and genuine compassion, allowing others to see the true essence of his being. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months as Hiro diligently practiced the lessons imparted by the wise monk. Gradually, he began to notice changes within himself. His anger transformed into patience, envy into gratitude, judgment into understanding, attachment into detachment, and ego into humility. One sunny morning, Hiro returned to his village, radiating a newfound sense of peace and serenity. The villagers noticed the transformation, astonished by the change they witnessed in their once eager young neighbor. Hiro's gentle demeanor, understanding nature, and unwavering humility captured the hearts of everyone he encountered. The village elder approached Hiro, marveling at the remarkable transformation. Hiro, he said, we are in awe of the person you have become. Your dedication to personal growth has not only earned our respect, but also inspired us to examine our own habits and strive for a better version of ourselves. The lessons from Hiro's journey and his transformation are profound, we can apply them to our own lives by first recognizing and acknowledging our habits that hinder our growth and connection with others. Through conscious effort, we can cultivate patience, empathy, and forgiveness, letting go of anger. We can embrace gratitude, celebrate the successes of others, and find contentment, leaving envy behind. Practicing non-judgmental awareness enables us to understand and connect with diverse perspectives, breaking the barrier of judgment. By consciously detaching ourselves from material possessions and desires, 
we can free ourselves from suffering and embrace the beauty of impermanence. Lastly, by transcending the ego, we can foster genuine compassion and humility, allowing others to see our authentic selves. The story of Hero's journey teaches us that true respect and admiration are not earned through external accomplishments or material possessions. Instead, they are a reflection of our inner growth and transformation. By leaving behind these five habits, we can create a ripple effect of positive change, inspiring others to embark on their own journeys of self-discovery and personal growth. Through this, we can foster deep connections, cultivate compassion, and create a more harmonious and respectful society for all.